Welcome to Mobile Legends! Five seconds till the enemy reaches the battlefield. Smash them! Push first! All troops deployed! Launch attack! Hello, true believers. I am recording my first Mobile Legends game. I mean, I've been playing for like two weeks now with Hero because he plays this a lot. So I just recorded this is my most recent game. And the strategy for me, as you can see, I'm playing as a tank. There's different roles inside the game if you're not familiar. There's assassins, fighters. Major, well, I'm a tank, I'm like by punching guys of the team. So I'm that silver character that you see right in the middle. So I was experimenting with this game. I really thought I was I recorded my last game. I had it on 2.2. So I always kind of do my commentary. The, my first objective is not to die, but over there is my first death that I got killed. And from, that, from then on, you're allowed to make a mistake here and there, one mistake, but. Once you have too many, then you start losing and start losing the advantage. As you can see, I gave them their first point there. It's, they scored their first kill. Which I got a, so they got a one. So that was my fault because I got pulled and I got yanked in the middle and they all focused fire on me. But as you can see, the objective of this game is to destroy their towers. I mean, a lot of people are familiar with it. Like I said, it's, I've just been playing this for two weeks with Hero and I was able to get to this Grandmaster title after two days like the next day but in this Grandmaster title it's hard getting out to the next level which is epic but I was able to play with Hero until he we played until we got him up to Legend while I was playing this card. Now we're two levels apart so I can play with some kind of solo rank on my own. So I you can see I'm just going around being as destructive as possible in this way. Somebody tried to kill me and I was able to escape. And I'm going to get to the bottom of the speed. Now this is normal speed. I had it at double the speed. So this is about 16 minutes long. So as you can see, we uh, we got ahead. The score is like five. Our Our team is blue, five kills to three. So let's follow around and let Our me get you what's on my mind while I where I move around in the map. There's three lanes, left lane, a middle lane, and a right lane, and you're supposed to destroy the towers to get to their the four nexus tower. So what I did was I decided to push to the left. All the action is going on in the middle, and all the action is, is going on the right. There was no, nobody on the left lane, so I decided to go up the left lane and uh, what that does is it forces the enemy team five-man team to kind of separate and deal with me and it just disrupts their game when they're being attacked from different sides so here I am causing havoc and then here we go we got one person over here the enemy shooting at me so let's just kind of follow along so I'm gonna try to push this tower right here and take it out because once you take out all the towers then you'll get stronger reinforcements so and i i decided to back out because okay. I, I always play conservative because i don't do a lot of damage i can take a lot of damage but i don't do a lot of damage so i decided to back up from that and decided to help with this turtle this turtle gives you experience and money to give your team an advantage and what you would do with the bunny is you buy equipment to become stronger and faster and do more damage so i helped with the turtle and the person got a shield from it so they can continue your team with our the turret. with our team effort over here so i get back into my left lane and look he the guy who got the shield decides to go after the okay the enemy marksman over there so and then all of a sudden this monkey shows up the enemy team and i said oh i was gonna help him but i can't now because he's much he's one level higher than me as you can see i'm level seven He's level 8, so there's no way I'm going to take that fight. 
So what I do is I draw him back to my tower, back to the safety of the tower. But he didn't want any part of it. So I said, okay, I'll push. And then, oh, wait a second. There's some action over there. So I get inside and take out that monkey because he turned around. So we were able to work together as a team there. So I saw that he was engaged. So, oh, he's going to lose this fight if I didn't, I don't, I don't help him. So it was kind of like my map awareness. I got back to the safety of the tower. But as soon as my teammate engaged, I went in and helped him engage also. So now, now we took out the enemy. I decided it was clear for me to push this tower with my minions. And then here we go. The, the enemy team marksman comes up. But it's too late. But here comes their mage coming after me. So their mage decides to go after me. I said, no, I, I can't take that mage. I think it's higher level than me also. And I don't do any damage. So I just back up to the safety of my tower. See if they still chase me. Okay, there's one chasing me. But I've got a teammate right there. So I decide, okay, let me take out this enemy minion and go forward. So I'm looking ahead and seeing that they're moving up. So I need to move up also. But I also need to get rid of these minions to clear the path for our minions at the same time. So here we are. Uh, nope. So here comes my teammate. He comes in and helps me clear that. Okay, now we got two people right here, two marksmen. So I said, let's jump this marksman. There's three enemy, but once we get that one squishy marksman, I said, let's get out of here. So I get out. So now it becomes three. Oh, and then he gets in there and gets killed. So I get in there and I take decide to take this fight and take her, but I couldn't. Because she's level 10 and I'm level 8. She's like two levels ahead of me. So there's no way I can take that fight. <coughs> so I decide to back up and wait. So here I am waiting. I'm waiting for the uh, for them to chase me. But it looks like they're not chasing me. So I decide to, okay, uh, let's see what I'm going to do next year. I forgot. What okay. I did. So I look at what our teammates are doing. And I said, okay, I'm going to keep pushing this. And I also have to be aware of my skills because they have a certain cooldown. I have to get my escapes ready just in case. And if my escapes are not ready and they start to, they decide to gang, gang up on me and gank me, I'm not going to be able to escape and live. So here, like this person, is, she's level 9. And I said, no, I can't take that fight. So I'm just, so what I'm doing is I'm just disrupting them. I'm just taking, I'm splitting up their team. To, so that way they're not all together and ganking my teammates and I'm getting the objective out of the way. So here we go. I'm pushing up the lane and my teammates are doing fine. They're by, they're, it's four versus four. They're not at any disadvantage because I'm keeping one of, their, one of the enemy players at, on my side. So they're split up because they don't want me to push their tower because once I limit it and then I so once I eliminate all their towers then we get re we get stronger reinforced minions and then here comes that person's level nine now and I got to level 10 so I was able to bypass that person by number one staying alive but number two getting experience and killing these minions right here these little these little uh, non-player characters so what I do is I nail them right over here take all three gather them together into my shield and blow them up and so to make way for my enemy for my ally minions to continue to push so here we go even though my style of stale style of play is boring it gets the job done so look <laughs> if you look at their towers we have all our towers still intact but me i'm i'm systematically destroying their towers like one step at a time so I, I had to figure out that like there's lots of factors going into this game, the psychology, the mechanics, the, the abilities of the different heroes, the different characters. So here I am. I know I drew them. I, I saw that I, there was like a bunch of enemy players coming up. So I decided to back up and see what they're going to do. Oh, you know what I decided to do? I, I decided to go to the other... To, where am I going? Oh yeah, to the other side. So I said, you know what? There's too much. There's everybody's shifting over to the left. I go, let me move now to the right. So all the attention of the enemy was focused on the left. Now I'm gonna. I decided to Sorry. switch back and go to the right and disrupt them there. 
and I noticed there's this, this one marksman, and check her out. She's like, aha, I caught you by yourself. I'm level 11, you're level, le level 10, so you're mine. So I decided to stand there toe-to-toe -to -toe with her because I know I'm one higher level that I'm gonna win this fight. So I keep nailing her, even though I don't have a lot of damage, and she does a lot of damage, but my extra level higher uh, made the, the big difference. So I was able to win that fight, and I was able to in add to our score. Now that person can't level up, she can't upgrade her equipment, and she can't help out her teammates. So now we got the advantage over here, and I think what started happening is our teammates started, if you look at the bottom, eventually there's going to be a point where all my teammates get wiped out. See? Uh, see there, my teammates are starting to die. If you look at the bottom, I'm on the, I'm on the blue side. So I just... I destroy the turret, and all of a sudden, everybody starts coming at me. On that. I got the whole team coming at me, and my two teammates have already died. So we have a five versus three situation. So I have at least three players that are going to gank up on me after I destroyed their tower. So they're pretty upset. So they all move over to the right side, clear the minions that I pushed, and then I said, you know what? I'm going to go back to the left side, to the left lane here. So you have to play these mind games with the people also to get them triggered so they'll just waste their time chasing after you like ball chasing so that's what my job is to help a team is i can't do a lot of damage but what i can do is be like a thorn on their side so once i push to the right so i went back to the left remember i started here in the left and look that tower so now all their towers are gone and there's only this one left so I destroyed one tower on one side, and I destroyed another tower on the side, and, but still, everybody's on me like this. So they got all the TA, so I gotta run here. So I didn't even engage. I said, you know what? And then while I was in, while they're all trying to nail me, my teammates finally show up like the cavalry. I'm like Optimus Prime, I'm taking on the whole team. And then I jump in there, as you can see, I jump in the pile uh, off, off to the side right there, and I almost died right there. This is me, and there, Franco, he's got this nasty hook, he's right there. I'm barely alive. He's hitting me, and I just said, I got, I gotta barely make it. So, my what's what my build is that I have this regenerate my health regeneration. I focus on I focus on a lot of items on health regeneration. So while I'm wait while I'm just by running around, I'm just buying myself time to get my health regenerated. So as you can see, it, once I was able to get clear of that, that was a close call because if I would have died as you could see every the whole team has already died like three other members already died from that engagement so what's important the most important role as a tank is you can't die because once you die it's like a domino effect so my job is just to stay alive I'm not there to do a lot of damage I'm not there to do a lot of kills my job is look to take as many hits as possible draw the team look everybody was chasing me and then once they all chased me my, the rest of my team, and, and look, they're still chasing me over here. I'm, I'm barely right there. They, they threw all their power at me and chased me. While they were doing that, my teammates were able to wipe them out. So as you can see, the job of the tank is not glorious, but it gets the job done. So at that split second right there, as you can see, what I did was run away. I knew all the fire was coming at me. So I needed to stay alive and while everybody was focused on me, my teammates came in and wiped them out and we have the victory. So that's how I play Mobile Legends as my role as the tank. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like I said, I've only been playing this for two weeks and I've reached Grandmaster but getting out of Grandmaster to go to the next level epic has been proving to be a challenge because you have to have to be in the right psychology because once you get the skills down then it's all about making the right decisions as you can see I went from the left I went to the right I engaged and the role of the tank it might not be glorious it's supposed to be the punching bag you're supposed to take all the damage while the rest of your teammates come in and steal all the glory but like I said it's not glorious but it gets the job done let me know what you think. This is my first Mobile Legends. I'm using the old phone that's cracked. I probably want to upgrade to another tablet that will give me 
a that, that's easier because this is kind of tiny and it's hard for me to see the the small characters so let me know what you think let me know if you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next video how do i end this hold on i'm gonna have hero show me everything about this because this i am so i'm such a noob when it comes to recording these things and i'm gonna upload it now still recording